Okay, Andrew, so we've got a patient on the bed. Mm-hmm. Can you explain what your normal procedure would be? Or Certainly, with, with the technique that, that I use here at Jarrah Chiropractic, we look at the patient's leg length to start off with. So the first thing we'll do is we'll cup your ankles and just press together, and then we get an idea if one leg is presenting as shorter than the other. And in this case, the right leg looks as though it's shorter than the left. Now why, what we do now is we have to find out why that's the case. Was he born like that, which is very, very rare? Or is something going on in the pelvis or the low back, the mid back, the neck that's causing the leg length to look different? Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we flex the ankles and that confirms that this leg looks shorter than this leg. So the next thing we do is bend the knees to about 60 degrees. 60 degrees is sufficient but if the patient can bend to 90 degrees if they have no problems with their knees, it's a more accurate assessment. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the pelvis. So I'm just going to touch the pelvis on the left hand side and just pull downwards. And that makes no difference. Next thing we're going to do is check the right hand side of the pelvis. So we'll just tell the patient I'm going to push on the buttock. we we'll just do a gentle push, recheck the leg length. And that has equalized the leg length. So what that tells us is that we need to adjust the right hand side of the pelvis. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to contact the patient in three places. And do you mind telling me what that machine is? This is the it, it called an activator. And this is the device that we use to do the adjusting for okay. the patient. Um, there's lots of different chiropractic techniques out there. There's, there's techniques that use physical adjusting. Um, there's techniques that use uh, special shaped cushions, there's all sorts of things, but this is what we use here in the main. Okay. We've got a few different techniques we use, but this is what we specialise in. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is contact the patient on, in three specific areas. So the first area is on the bone, at the base of the pelvis. Then under a ligament. And then in the belly of a muscle on the right hand side here. This can often be quite sore in patients, this particular adjustment. Okay. So is there a little pulse that goes through that? No, it's essentially just a, it's a very fast force. Um, It's a spring loaded device. I'll show you on my hand how it it works. We just press it on the affected area and then we pull the trigger and it's it's so fast you can barely see it. It's just a very fast spring loaded. So it's almost like punching the area. Very, very fast. Tiny punch. It's low, it's very low force, but it's extremely fast. Okay. And it's far too fast for the body to tense up and resist the adjustment. Now, if I was doing it manually, people can tense up and resist the adjustment. People are familiar with that uh, particular feeling, particularly if if they've had the the more physical techniques that we use. Okay. With this, you can't do that. Okay. And I think the patient will confirm it's not painful. No, no. Not painful, Aidan? No. Okay. (laughs) Next thing we check, we move up the spine. So we check the sacrum, which is the base of the spine. And that needs adjusted as well. So it's a very logical sequence, this technique. You work your way from, essentially from the feet, the knees, pelvis, sacrum, low back, mid back, neck. And then if the patient has any other problems, any complaints, say with the hip or the knee or the ankle or the shoulder, you do that after you've checked the spine. Okay. Another positive aspect of this technique is that as you can see, you can get adjusted with your clothing on. There's no need to undress. Okay. Place your right hand on your lower back, please. So this is checking the lumbar spine and there is a problem with this patient's L5 vertebrae. The L5 vertebrae is the lowest one. So in effect, it's the lowest part of the lower back. Put your right hand by your side, please. So have you just located the lower five vertebrae there? Yes, it's um, what we do. We're obviously trained to, to know where things are in the body. Um, there are, the body has various anatomical reference points and with experience you just get to know which vertebrae that you're, that you're feeling. Yeah. 
So that was the lowest one, that was L5. Okay. So we'll just continue checking the number spine now. So place your left hand on your lower back. So this is L4, and that needs adjusted as well. Arm by your side. Both hands on your lower back. So there's various issues with regard to this patient's low back because we're finding things that aren't working properly. Arms okay. down please. So why do you ask him to put his arms up and down? Each vertebrae has a particular test and in that case we want to test say the second lumbar vertebrae. The test is put both hands on your lower back. Okay. The tests are, are developed by activator methods um, they teach those techniques and, and the tests to us at courses. Okay, so you um, can read uh, what's yeah, happening. Yeah, every vertebrae has a different uh, movement that isolates a particular vertebrae and tests it. Okay. So that one there was uh, L2. Okay. If we want to check, say, L3, I'll show you the test for L3. Okay, lift the right side of your pelvis up off the bench about an inch and down. So that tests L3. We check so does that hand. say that, sorry Andrew, does that say that L3 is okay? If, if the this, patient This was... tells me. Oh, okay. So when we check the leg length, the leg length hasn't changed. Ah, okay. So L3 doesn't need adjusted. So that's the beauty of this particular system of analysis. It tells me where to adjust you, it tells me when to adjust you, and it also tells me when to leave you alone. Okay. Place your left hand on your back, place your right hand up near your head. So that is a test for L1, and that is fine. Keep your right hand by your head, put your left hand by your side. So now we're moving into a different part of the spine called the thoracic spine. And this is a test for the lowest thoracic vertebrae, which is called T12. And that one needs adjusted as well. Okay, right arm back down, left arm up by your head. Okay, that's T11, and that one needs adjusted as well. There's no great surprise why this patient needs adjusted. Um, he does a lot of sport. Right, okay, because I was just going to ask you, this is obviously quite a young patient yes, he does he's been this time of the year they're, they're playing three to four games a week okay and that's going to take a toll on anybody not, not it doesn't matter how old you are it's still going to cause problems yeah all that physical activity yeah. both arms up above your head please arms back down Okay, both arms again above your head. That's fine, arms back down and turn your head to the right hand side. Head in the centre please. This all looks very relaxing actually. Have you ever had any patients fall asleep? No, they're not, they don't lie down long enough the okay length of a, of a treatment session is about 15 minutes oh right so um, that's so there's insufficient time really but yeah. a lot of people do comment on how it's quite relaxing well yeah it is actually because i was expecting it perhaps not to be but uh, it all looks quite pleasant there's nothing unpleasant about chiropractic no. particularly yeah. this technique turn so your head to the right side lift your right shoulder towards the ceiling and down Shrug both of your shoulders up towards your head and down. Place your head back in the centre. Then look up. Back to normal, please. Tuck your chin to your chest. Back to normal. Turn your head to the left hand side. And back to normal. Good. Okay, reach down with your right hand as if you were trying to touch your right knee, please. And back up. Then reach down with your left hand and back up. Good. 
Okay, I'm just going to lift your leg just to stay relaxed, okay? That's fine. Have you got anything else in particular troubling you? Shoulder, knee, ankle, anything like that? Uh, no, that's all, thanks. Good. Okay, that's fine. How did all that feel, Aidan? Totally fine. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Excellent. <clears throat>